I, I hear people say, you know, oh, I can grab my float line or I'll be able to pull my bands off. But the reality is you're going to bleed out in three minutes. Uh, if you hit your femur artery or any of those big arteries or anything else in other areas, you know, 15 minutes, your heart's beating a million miles an hour. You think you're going to die. You're panicking. Your buddy's panicking. So I use a combat action tourniquet. I attached it to the front of my dive belt. And uh, it's a pretty foolproof system. I've only had it come off one time, probably a hundred dives. I take a piece of uh, bungee cord and I make a loop, but I double it up, tie a knot and make a loop that's about three inches by three inch circle. And I put that as a double wrap over the tourniquet on the front of my belt. Aiden does the same. That tourniquet on my belt is likely for him to grab to apply to me or vice versa or for myself. We've talked about it, you know, the scenarios, and this is just from my time in the Marine Corps. Like you kind of practice what you preach, you go over it, you take it apart, you know how you're gonna pull it together. You rinse it off after the dive, dry it quickly, keep it out of the sun, and it lasts a long time. So, I mean, if you can just learn to dive one, you know, I see people dive with two knives or this piece of gear and that, well, ditch one of those and put the tourniquet on your ball. Uh, it, it's lightweight. <clears throat> And uh, you're gonna have a far better chance of saving your buddy's life or your life if you're coherent and you know can keep it together enough.